Burnley Principal at the Ashton County West Homes Career Center. Uh, I just wanted to send out an informational video for new students and returning students and their parents on some changes in our handbook and, uh, and policies uh, that we are putting in place. Uh, first thing I wanted to talk about was the start of the school day. Start of school day will begin at 8.15 this year instead of 8.30. So they will go to first period 8.15. And I know we have bus riders out there from a few schools that don't get here till 8.20, 8.30. Um, that's okay with the bus riders. They will be given a permission slip to get in. Uh, they will not miss uh, little uh, classwork as that 815 period we're going to be doing some uh, various things like a homeroom period and informational period and and videos and uh, do some things uh, with mental health and other things with kids uh, during that time uh, as a homeroom to have teachers work with the kids and get to know the kids and plus get information on different drills such as our um, active situation alert how do we go through those processes and other drills to the program. So we we'll use those first 10 minutes or so to, to get information out to the kids and have the parents also, or the teachers also work with the kids. So we'll start at 8.15. Uh, everybody else who is not on a bus, um, as far as well, the late buses are required to be in their room at 8.15 in the morning. So they need to be at 8.15. So uh, the class eight will start at 8.15. Uh, we have... Um, staff in service for our teachers on the 19th and 20th of August. Uh, on the, um, the uh, date of the 18th, uh, or the 19th, I'm sorry, at 6 p 5 and 6 p.m. we'll be having open houses. Uh, it'll be split. Uh, we'll get more information out to students here next week on that. Uh, but open houses will be at 5 o'clock orientation and uh, 6 o'clock for incoming students. Uh, juniors and sophomores or any new senior student um, that's when you'll pick up your schedule uh, once again uh, that that'll be in the evening of the 19th and you must have all final forms all final forms must be complete before you pick up your your schedules senior returning seniors uh, they can pick up their schedules on the 18th uh, Wednesday the 18th from 8 o'clock till 3 o'clock here at the Kerr Center and they must have all their final forms complete or they will not get their schedule. Uh, last year we had some people that did not complete final forms. Um, we did press the issue because of COVID, but this year uh, they are, to, everybody has to have all, all sections of the final forms completed, uh, both signed by the parent and the student uh, before, uh, before a schedule will be given out to them. So seniors, 18th, eight to three, and juniors will come during an orientation time at five or six. Uh, we'll get that schedule out to you guys uh, later this week, probably on Friday. So uh, other things I want to cover as I scroll down in the student handbook that might be new in a student handbook I want to talk to you about. Uh, we will not be in uniform. Um, the uniforms are not, <clears throat> won't be in until typically three to four weeks into school. Um, we're going with a local company this year. Hopefully we can get them sooner. Uh, so students will have to abide by the dress code uh, when they come to school the first uh, two or three weeks of school before they get their uniforms. Once they get their uniforms, they'll be required to be uh, in those uniforms on a daily basis in school. Um, so so here, here's part of it. Um, no, no footwear uh, to be worn, that, such as slippers, flip-flops, uh, made of rubber pipe, they're prohibited. Um, clothing that is turned inappropriate due to being frayed, torn, ragged, or revealing may not be worn. Wind pants, pajama pants, leggings, jeggings, yoga pants, uh, those are prohibited being worn at school. And also sleeveless shirts, all shirts must have a sleeve on them. Um, <clears throat> to move down here, uh, skirts or shorts uh, that are worn over leggings and jeggings and and uh, leggings and yoga pants, they have to at least go to the knee level. So uh, extend just to the top of the knee, okay? Uh, trousers, slacks, shorts, jeans will be determined if inappropriate. They are frayed, torn, ragged, contain holes. Um, they are not permitted here at school. So um, mask, uh, medical mask uh, may be worn 
uh, if a student has a medical condition, uh, they can wear the medical mask. As of right now, as of today, as I sit here at 10.04 a.m. on August 9th, we are, our masks are optional uh, for students and staff to wear. Um, nobody is going to be turned away because they're wearing a mask and nobody's going to be turned away at this present time because they're not wearing a mask. Uh, that's where we stand at this moment, but that, that those things can change depending on what happens with the variant of the COVID-19 uh, as it, the, the Delta one increases. So um, it, it, we, we're not going to do it uh, to go all masks until we're mandated. So uh, at this present time, there are no masks. It's all optional. Um, and if somebody is, uh, has a uh, condition or they need to wear a mask, that's fine also. If they feel uncomfortable coming to school without a mask, they're more than welcome uh, to wear a mask. So uh, one thing about masks, um, if there's anything printed on it, uh, not talking about like a print color, but uh, words printed on it, uh, the only thing you could have printed is the logo of your uh, homeschools or the logo of the Ashley County West Holmes Career Center. No other writing can be on uh, flags or anything can be on mask. So by board policy. So once once we get the, the career wear in, uh, students will be required to wear a career wear Monday through Thursday. Uh, this thing, uh, this year we're doing things a little bit different on Fridays. On Friday, what we're gonna do is uh, kids can wear jeans um, to school uh, as long as they meet the requirements of no frays, tears, holes, um, or ripped. Um, uh, they can wear the jeans and they can wear a t-shirt, uh, but it has to be something with a career center logo on it uh, that is provided by the school. So, or the labs, you know, so the labs are going to put t-shirts together. But we have some t-shirts we're going to be passing out at orientation and also the first day of school um, for kids to wear that, uh, that we have a variety of shirts that we put together uh, for kids to wear. But uh, uh, the labs will also be getting t-shirts too to wear in lab and then on Fridays only, Fridays only in the academic wings. Um, if I scroll down here. I want to talk about uh, backpacks. Um, students uh, will be allowed to wear backpacks this year again, even though you will be given a logger assignment, you will be able to wear your backpack again for this year. And water fountains are open. Um, the vending machines are going to be open uh, unless uh, we are told to shut them down. Um, in the cafeteria, we have brought out uh, for the People have been here in the past. We have brought out uh, the foosball table and the ping pong table, and uh, we're going to let the kids use them. And we're going to encourage those kids to use uh, uh, the sanitation and sanitizers that is provided. So, um, if you need to take a, if you're thinking about taking a CCP class, you see, need to see Mrs. Garvick or make contact with Mrs. Garvick uh, because you have to. Let us know that you take one within the first five days of the school, which starts on August 23rd. School starts at for everybody. Uh, we've got the end of that week. Uh, if you haven't taken the acuplacer, uh, then you will not be able to take a CCP class. So um, final forms, once again, all final forms must be complete before a student gets their schedule. Um, that's parent signatures and student signatures and completely filled out. Uh, some of you may have already completely filled them out. I did send something out to you uh, uh, later last week that we had to add a form for ODE, uh, ODE connectivity form uh, that we had to record in our EMIS, which is part of our funding. Uh, they needed those two questions answered uh, starting this year. So we, I did add that form. So you might want to check uh, your forms. Um, uh, but those people were sent an email saying that they need to go back in and redid that. So um, medications, anybody has medications, uh, can't carry the medications with you, even uh, Advil or whatever. And we cannot give you, a student comes that has a headache, we cannot give them Advil. Parents, you can send a bottle and we put their name on in the office with a note saying that, you're okay, we're okay to give Madville or any medications they need to take during the day, need to go to our school nurse uh, or Mrs. Harrigan, and we store those in a lock file and the students come in when it's time to take their medicine or they need their medicine, uh, they come to the office and then they sign off that they have taken their medicine. So 
uh, Chromebooks, our Chromebooks are here. Um, how, how we're going to do distribution of Chromebooks this year is anybody that is a returning student who took theirs home for the summer, obviously once you bring that the first day of school charged and ready to go, um, the students who turned them in, um, they will be given back out to you on the first day of school on the 23rd, uh, probably first thing in your lab uh, or first period, we'll get those to you, uh, the students that uh, um, had, had Chromebooks last year. Now, students, new students, new students of the districts, uh, we're going to wait till that first week is over, and then on August 30th, we will uh, call by labs, uh, especially for our juniors and our sophomores and maybe some new seniors. We'll call you down to the library and uh, as a group, and we'll pass out uh, the new Chromebooks on the, on the 30th. So you will have that. So uh, Chromebooks are expected parents. Uh, are, are, they are expected to be char fully charged when they bring them to school and bring their charger with them uh, so they can use them on, on the full day of classes here at the Career Center. Um, grading scale, uh, changed a little bit our grading scale. We did away with the quality points, um, some you might be familiar with, but uh, right now a student has to have at least a 60% average and it's a, a average of each of the nine weeks. So we take the first nine weeks, second nine weeks, third nine weeks, fourth nine weeks to take their uh, percentage that they got uh, add, and total those up and divide by four and it has to equal 60%. So we do have in their role that a student must pass at least two, two uh, nine week grading periods and they must pass at least one in the first nine or first, first semester and one nine weeks in the second semester. Um, they have to pass at least one in the first and one in the second semester uh, to pass the course of the year as long as they have that 60% average for that year by adding the uh, grading periods together. So uh, as far as fees, uh, right now we have no fees. Um, we don't charge fees. So um, parents, uh, when kids get there, they don't need to bring fees. Just make sure that they're all ready to go the first day of school with pencils, pens, notebooks, and everything they need to go uh, ready, ready to go to school. And, and uh, look forward to seeing everybody on the 23rd. Uh, we'll definitely do another video announcement uh, probably next week sometime uh, regarding schedule pickup and also final forms. we got to get these final forms done, people, I, folks. I know it's a, a pain that you can't use them from your last school, but that's a state law. We can't change that. So uh, you do them this year as juniors and sophomores, and the next year all you have to do is nothing changes. You just have to go in and sign off on them. Uh, than summer. So uh, get on those final forms and we look forward to seeing everybody here. Uh, the Career Center is a great place. A lot of great things are going on. Uh, look forward to meeting you all and we will see you on, at orientation night on the 19th um, or we will see you on the 23rd uh, or, or seniors when you pick your schedule up on the 18th. Thank you. Have a great day.